Ismail ibn Kathir ibn Kathir abridged name, Abu al fida Imad ad-Din Ismail bin Umar bin Kathir al-Qurashi al-Busrawi Asmail bn Mr. bn Kathir al-Qurashi al-Mshki ab al Damad al-Dansi, 1300–1373 was a highly influential historian, exegete and scholar during the Mamluk era in Syria. An expert on tafsir Quranic exegesis and faqih jurisprudence, he wrote several books, including a 14-volume Universal History. Al-Hafiz ibn Hajar al-Asqalani said about him, Ibn Kathir worked on the subject of the hadith in the texts Mountain and Chains of Narrators. He had a good memory, his books became popular during his lifetime, and people benefited from them after his death. Biography <inaudible> 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 His full name was Abu el fid Ism il ibn Umar ibn Qatir ab Alfta Asmail bn Mr. bn Kathir and had the honorary title of Imad ad Din, Mad al Pillar of the Faith. He was born in Mijdal, a village on the outskirts of the city of Bushra, to the east of Damascus, Syria, around about A701 AD 1300 over 1. He was taught by Ibn Taymiyyah and al Dahabi. Upon completion of his studies he obtained his first official appointment in 1341, when he joined an inquisitorial commission formed to determine certain questions of heresy. He married the daughter of al-Mizi, one of the foremost Syrian scholars of the period, which gave him access to the scholarly elite. In 1345 he was made preacher at a newly built mosque in Mizza, the home town of his father-in-law. In 1366, he rose to a professorial position at the Great Mosque of Damascus. In later life, he became blind. He attributes his blindness to working late at night on the Musnad of Ahmad ibn Hanbal in an attempt to rearrange it topically rather than by narrator. He died in February 1373 in Damascus. He was buried next to his teacher Ibn Taymiyyah. Creed Ibn Kathir shares some similarities with his teacher Ibn Taymiyyah, such as advocating a militant jihad and adhering to the renewal of one singular Islamic ummah. Furthermore, like Ibn Taymiyyah, he counts as an anti-rationalistic, traditionalistic and hadith-oriented. However Ibn Kathir distanced himself from the literal reading of God's attributes asserted by his teacher Ibn Taymiyyah, who was accused of anthropomorphism, a view that was objectionable according to Ash-Arism. Ibn Kathir did not interpret the Matashabiyat, or unapparent in meaning verses and hadiths in a literal anthropomorphic way. He states that People have said a great deal on this topic and this is not the place to expound on what they have said. On this matter, we follow the early Muslims Salaf, Malik, Azai, Thari, Lath ibn Sa'd, Shafi'i, Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Ishaq ibn Raway, and others among the Imams of the Muslims, both ancient and modern that is, to let the verse in question pass as it has come, without saying how it is meant min ghayr takif, without likening it to created things wala tashbi, and without nullifying it wala tatl, the literal meaning zahir that occurs to the minds of anthropomorphists al is negated of Allah, for nothing from his creation resembles him. There is nothing whatsoever like unto him, and he is the all-hearing, the all-seeing." Quran 42–11 <laughs> Works Tafsir <laughs> 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 Ibn Kathir wrote a famous commentary on the Quran named Tafsir al Quran al Azim, which linked certain hadith, or sayings of Muhammad, and sayings of the Sahaba to verses of the Quran, in explanation and avoided to use Israeliyats. Many Sunni Muslims hold his commentary as the best after Tafsir al Tabari, and it is highly regarded, especially among Salafi school of thought. Although Ibn Kathir claimed to rely on at Tabari, he introduced new methods and differs in content, in attempt to clear Islam from any Israeliyat. His suspicion on Israeliyat probably derived from Ibn Ibn Taymiyyah's influence, who discounted much of the exegetical tradition since then. Egyptian scholar Ahmad Muhammad Shakir (1892–1958) edited Ibn Kathir's Tafsir as Umdat at Tafsir in five volumes published during 1956–1958. Fa'il al Qur'an Fdale al Qur'an was intended as an annex to the Tafsir. It is a brief textual history of the Quran and its collection after the death of Muhammad. Topic Hadith al Jami al Jam is a grand collection of Hadith texts intended for encyclopedic use. 
It is an alphabetical listing of the companions of the Prophet and the sayings that each transmitted, thus reconstructing the chain of authority for each hadith. Al Ba'ath al Hadith is an abridgment of the Muqaddimah by Ibn al Salah in hadith terminology at Takmil fi ma rifat ath thikat wa ad dwafa wal majdil, which Ibn Kathir collected from the books of his two sheikhs al Mizi and Adh Dahabi, al Kamal and Mizan al Ftidl. He added several benefits regarding the subject of al-Jar and at-Tadl. Ibn Kathir wrote references for the Ahadith of Adilat at Tanba, from the Shafi'i school of fiqh. Topic history and biography Al-Bidaya wa and Nihaya al wal the beginning and the end is a universal history of the world from the creation to the end of time. Ibn Kathir's great ten-volume magnum opus contains accounts of the early nations of the world, the prophets and their biographies and Islamic history up to his own time. Within the Islamic literary corpus it is highly regarded for its great extent and range, and has been widely translated. Abridged edition available in English. al fitan Kitab Alftan Walmlam al waqt Fi Akhar Alzman The Sedition, On the Signs of the Last Hour, valuable for political details of his day. First printed in Cairo 1932 several Arabic editions, unavailable in English. al sira al nabawiyya al sirt al Life of the Prophet Muhammad. Four Vols. Unavailable in English. Kizas al Anbiya, Qusa Lanbiya Tales of the Prophets, a collection of tales of the Prophets of Islam and others of the Old Testament, extract published as Tufat and Nubla, Min Kizas al Anbiya Lilanam al Hafiz ibn Kathir, Theft al Nubla Mn Qus al Anbiya Yamam al Hafs ibn Kathir, Masterpiece of the Nobles from Tales of the Prophets by al Hafiz ibn Kathir. Unavailable in English. Topic Jihad al Ithihad fi Talab al Jihad, al Ijthad fi Taibi al Jad, written by commission of the Mamluk governor of Damascus, is a defense of armed jihad and ribbit against the neighboring Christian powers, remnants of the Crusader states, such as the Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia, based on the evidence of the Quran and the Sunnah. Topic other al Hadi was Sunan fi Ahadith al Masanid was Sunan, aka Jamie al Masanid, collected narratives of the Imams Ahmad bin Hanbal, al Bazar, Abu Yala al Masili, and Ibn Abi Shaiba, and six collected hadiths, two Sahihs of al Bukhari and Muslim, and four Sunan of Abu Dawud, at Tirmidhi, and Nasai and Ibn Majah. Classified under fiqh divisions. Tabakat ash Shafi'iyah The Levels of the Shafi'i Scholars. Commentary on Sahih al Bukhari, unfinished work. The Akham, large volume on laws up to the Hajj rituals, unfinished work. Summary of al bihaqis al madkal unpublished. Maulid, celebrating the birthday of the Holy Prophet. Note: many books listed here remain unpublished. Topic. See also. Ibn Taymiyyah. Al Tabari. Al Qurtabai. Topic Notes Topic References Norman Calder, Tafsir from Tabari to Ibn Kathir, Problems in the Description of a Genre, illustrated with reference to the story of Abraham, in, G. R. Hotting, Abdul Qader A. Sharif, eds, Approaches to the Quran, London 1993, pp. 101-140. Jane Damon McAuliffe, Quranic Hermeneutics, The Views of Al-Tabari and Ibn Kathir, in, Andrew Rippon, ed., Approaches to the History of the Interpretation of the Quran, Oxford 1988, pp. And NBS al Hafid ibn Kathir is not Ash. I topic external links The Akita of Ibn Kathir Tafsir Ibn Kathir in English Ibn Kathir in English.